So, um, as I said before, today I'm going to explain everything that I'm taking with me for luggage and how I organize everything. I prepare months before I leave. I always do that, you know, because I want to have the best stuff with me and all the things that I don't need, uh, I, you know, I throw them out. It's, um, I separated everything in three departments. Uh, one of, of them is clothes. Uh, I'm going to explain how much and what type of clothes that I'm taking with me. Um, the biggest part of my trip will be like uh, Central America and probably South America. So the things that I'm taking with me are a little bit uh, focused on those areas. Uh, second part is uh, all my gear that I'm going to take me. With gear, I mean uh, cameras, mobile phones and stuff that I need to edit my videos. And then the third part uh, will be uh, like products for mosquitoes and whatever. Okay, so let's start. Add it up. The first part that I'm going to do is talk about my clothes. They're probably the most boring one, but you know, I have to take clothes. First, um, I want to remind you that I'm doing a long time, a long term trip. Uh, for at least for a minimum of three months, I hope much longer, like six months or maybe nine months till a year. Um, and the countries that I'm for sure are going to do is Panama, because uh, within a, a few years I'm going to retire and I want to go there now and see if I will be able to live there, if, it, if it's going to comfort me and if it's worth uh, for me to stay there for a, a long time. Um, so because it's a longer trip than you know just backpacking I'm probably gonna have like a, a much bigger suitcase than that you expected uh, but it's because um, I'm gonna travel around but at the same time I'm going to have like a space or a place where I'm going to stay for a longer time meanwhile I can travel everywhere I want so um, with that being said, uh, let's uh, start with the clothes. So as you can see, I don't have that much to take with me because you know, uh, I don't want to uh, overweight myself with, with um, too much luggage that pff, eventually I can buy uh, over there. The shoes, I will have like uh, some comforting uh, Havaianas, but that's for inside um, the apartment or the flat or whatever that I'm going to rent. Um, that's easy, you know. They're not very comfortable when you lock, um, walk uh, long distances, so they're just for inside. And then I have like very lightweight shoes where I can walk around with, but not very long distances. And then the white ones, um, they're for more uh, daily use wherever I go. Boxers. Um, the most are, you know, short fitting boxer shorts. Because uh, when you sweat a lot, um, it helps to keep um, the moist from your butt. Um, next to it, you can see socks. I have like seven pair with me. That's more than enough. They're short socks because it's going to be in hot over there. So, um, yeah. Then I have a few shorts. Uh, some of them are to swim with, you know, and then the others are just to walk wherever I want and I have different colors because I have different t-shirts and then they all fit together. Or I can mix, you know. Those two blue things, they're actually um, towels, but very thin ones that you can take with you and if you go to swim, you can easily take them out. They're not big, they're not huge but they take uh, a lot of um, uh, moist on them. So they're very convenient when you travel. It doesn't take much space. And then this black thing here, this is uh, something like an air conditioning, if you want to say. It's uh, actually sort of a towel that you have to make wet a little bit. And it's in a very special way woven where it's, uh, allows more air in. So the combination of much more air in, in the weaving and the moist of the water, it cools you down. And actually it works very well. Uh, I really like it when it's super hot. Then I will take like uh, two pair of uh, 
trousers with me, but you know, longer, no shorts, longer. They're a very, they're like linen, if you know what I mean. And they're made in linen, so they're very thin, so it's perfect for um, hot, humid weather, like in Panama. Then I will have some t-shirts with me, uh, probably not these exactly, I still have to make a choice which ones. And then next to them I have my Lost Travelers uh, t-shirts. I made a few, it's you know when I'm going to be in the city or wherever I am and I'm going to walk and I you know walk around, at least you can see the t-shirts, I mean my YouTube channel as well. So they're more or less like to promote my channel. If you want one, uh, just write me, you know, write it down in the comments and I'll make sure that I can send you one. Um, and then next to it, I have like a very <clears throat> flowery, summery uh, shirt. I mean, if I go to a decent restaurant or something like that, at least, you know, I'm decent as well. And then this raincoat, the green one, um, it's, you know, it protects me against water, of course, rain, heavy rain even, and it's completely waterproof and it's wind protecting as well. And then those plasticky thingies, uh, they're uh, raincoats, but like last minute raincoats, you just put them over your clothes and at least you're protected for a few hours. They're more or less um, like usable for one, maybe two times, maybe three times. So yeah. That's what I'm going to take for uh, clothes with me. Um, let's go next to the gear. I do have to explain one thing about my luggage, about my suitcase. It's a very big one, I know. I explained before why it's a big one, but there's a second reason. And the second reason is actually uh, because I'm, uh, you know, my boyfriend, he lives in Cuba. It's a very poor country. And especially now with the pandemic going on, there's no tourism. For people, it's almost impossible to make money. So they can't buy stuff. Even food is very hard to get. So half of the luggage is stuff for my boyfriend. I bought him uh, a laptop. I bought him a new mobile phone because his other one is broken. I bought him some clothes. So like half of my suitcase is uh, just for my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. But once I'm traveling to Cuba, I'm going to take this suitcase with me. I'm going to deliver all the stuff that's for him and his family. And I'm probably going to leave the suitcase over there. Um, and I'm probably going to buy a new one to go back to Belgium once I decide, you know, to go back home. You're probably thinking, oh my God, he's taking a lot of gear with him. Yes, of course. I have to make videos for you, you know. So um, <clears throat> I need this. but. Probably if you travel, you probably don't need all of this stuff. But uh, since I'm filming in many different ways, sometimes in the water that I need to go pro, you know, and uh, when I walk around or when I'm inside in a restaurant and there's not a lot of light, then I prefer to use my um, phone because the camera over there is much better than the GoPro. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm probably going to make a different video about all the stuff that I'm taking with me uh, for filming uh, to be to explain a little more in depth. But for now, I'm just going to tell you a, a bit about what I'm all taking and why as well. So first, you can see the, the um, my drone. I haven't used it yet. I still have to learn, but it's going to work. I promise you it's going to work. Um, it, you know, the drone, it makes a lot of very interesting um, air shots. It makes the video more interesting. So yes, I'm, I'm very happy with the drone. It's a very affordable one. Uh, it's not a super strict one. I mean, like you, you need licenses and blah, 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 blah. That's all not needed with this one. But sometimes you have to uh, ask online for a license and within a few minutes you receive it and then you can fly for about three days in the area you asked for. Then you will see a lot of cables uh, that I'm taking with me and connectors and adapters. I need this for my laptop, for my camera, so I have to take it with me. There's um, a thing to put my mobile phone in and then I, you know, I can um, 
uh, film more steady. I have a lot of SSD drives because I need them for editing uh, through my uh, laptop. Uh, I have an Amoric keyboard because sometimes when I use the Apple and you're on a website where you have to put in like passwords or whatever, the keys on the keyboard from the Mac don't work. So I need a separate uh, num numeric uh, keyboard, that's why. I have a lot of batteries, you only see two at the moment, but I have like five for the, for the GoPro, because it eats battery, you know. Then I have a little box where you have a lot of connectors for the GoPro to add extra thingies on them and so on. Then of course I have like a thing to um, dive in the water. I have a waterproof um, a floating device for the GoPro. Um, I have like a mini tripod as well. I have a super good um, stereo microphone because actually I have another channel where I wanna put music on it. Well, not really music, but like meditating sounds from the nat from the nature where I am, the parks and whatever. So that's gonna be a separate uh, channel. Um, I'm gonna explain much more because for now there's like only one video on that channel so far. It's not gonna be a huge channel, but I think it's interesting to. Uh, save all the sounds you hear in different uh, places where you go, especially like nature. Then I have a chest mount for the GoPro, you know, to put on my chest when I walk around. It makes it it's much more um, relaxing and easier to get you in my story when I want to show you things and then you can see my hands moving, blah, 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 all those things. I have an extra, um, how do you call it? A power bank. It's 10,000 milliampers. So it's a big one and it's a very good one because it can save the, it, it, it stays full for a very, very long time, even if you don't use it. And then I have a spare uh, box with extra cables, but that actually is like a box that I take with me on my uh, luggage when I travel for day trips, you know, in my backpack, because they're all the cables that I might need when I'm on the way, not at home. Then I have se several uh, different types of microphones that I'm using. One is a, a double one, you know, when I make an interview with someone else, it's easy to talk um, with two microphones. I don't have to switch with one microphone all the time. We can talk very freely and it, um, you know, records both at the same time. And then I have a, se a separate one, the one that I'm uh, wearing now. They have very long cables. It's you know the quality is much better than the microphones on the on the GoPro, so um, I need them. You know I need them. I I want to bring as much good quality as possible and within my budget uh, for you people. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's very important in the long shot. You know. Um, then very important uh, to to go back to my gear. I have several um, USB, a micro, not USB, I mean micro SD cards, because for the GoPro, my mobile phone, uh, you know, for all that stuff. And very important when I'm <clears throat> staying at home, it's the, 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 how do you call it, Chromecast, because then I can watch whatever I want on the television that's in the room uh, from my phone, you know. I have my channels from Belgium that I want to watch, if, Sorry, even that when I'm in uh, Panama and then I can use this, it'll send them to the TV and, you know, I can probably use it to, to watch my uh, photos and whatever. But this is like a part of my home uh, country that I'm having with me. Oh my God, something very stupid happened. I just recorded like the third part of my video where I was talking about um, all the personal stuff that I'm going to take with me. And apparently I forgot to put my microphone on. So this is the second track, the second trial of uh, the third part. But okay, let's go. So the first thing is this gray backpack. It's a very short one, you know, it's a very little one because this is more or less like when I'm out for one day or just a few hours that I'm going to take this one because all my gear fits in, in there. And as you can see inside, 
it's an isolated one, which means that if you buy drinks or you have bread or food with you, at least it keeps it cool and protects it from the heat, especially like in Cuba or in Panama, Costa Rica and Colombia, you know, South and Central America. The other backpack, this black one, I can use this. It's actually a camera bag. It's a big one. All my gear, of course, fits in it. And I have extra space to put my clothes in when I travel for a few days. Like, for example, if I want to go to Medellin, Medellin, I don't know how you pronounce it, in Colombia or Peru for a, for a week or something like that, some clothes will fit it in and all my gear as well. So that's perfect for a few days. I know it's a, a lot of luggage, but you know, I'm out of the country for a very long time. So I need all this stuff. Then this bag, this green little bag, it's a waterproof bag. It protects all your gear against uh, water, of course. I can put my gray backpack in, but the other one doesn't fit in, but I don't care. I mean, you know, if I have to go through a river or whatever, I can put all the water sensitive stuff in this bag, put it in my backpack and then uh, travel over the water. Of course, I have sunglasses. I know this is a very fancy one, but no sunlight will get into my eyes from every angle of the, of the, the sunglasses. I know it looks a little bit like those sunglasses that you take with you when you go out skiing, but this is not the case with this one. Then I have some with tissues. You know, you need them all the time. If you go to toilet, there's no water. At least you can uh, clean them with those uh, towels so tissues i mean of course i do have some extra masks with me um, because situations about the pandem pandemic change all the time so i have to be uh, prepared for that then i have uh, toilet seat covers i know it sounds a little bit weird but it's not especially for panama but when i go to tra to travel to, to cuba I really need this because like in 98% of the time when you go to a toilet, there's no seat, there's no seat cover, there's no seat on the toilet. So you need those papers because the toilets, even in very fancy hotels in Cuba, they are dirty. I promise you, they are very dirty. So you need those seat covers. I do have two packages because I don't know if I will find them easy in Panama before I leave to Cuba, you know. So that's why I have two. Then I have some like personal uh, medicine, uh, for example, this is for my nose. Sometimes I have uh, difficulties breathing, uh, especially like hay fever or how do you say in English, hoi courts in Dutch. Uh, so I use this and then it opens my nose, blah, 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 but you probably don't need this. Then I have like painkillers and other stuff everybody needs wherever they go, you know, for headaches and diarrhea and things like that. And then um, mosquito repellent. Oh my God, I am a magnet for mosquitoes. You don't believe me. So I have to protect me very, very well. I do have like those sprays that you spray on your body. It has DET in it. So it's very good for tropical uh, travels, like what I'm doing now, or will be doing in September, I mean. I have two bottles, I know it's a lot, but like I said, I have no idea if it's going to be easy to find them in Panama. Then of course, sun spray. We all need sun spray. I have uh, protection number 30. I think this is more than enough for me because I'm, I'm not really dark skinned, but I have like a lightly darker skin than most white people, if I can put it that way. Um, I know it's three bottles, I know it's a lot, but again, Maybe because I heard that in, you know, in countries where there's like a tropical season, uh, sunscreen is, mu is much more expensive. The only thing that I do have to be aware of is that there might be a chance because now they starting to talk about the fact that sun sunscreens are very uh, um, dangerous for like sea life and things like that. So I'm going to have to be aware of that. And if needed, of course, I'm going to buy 
the more specialized sun sprays. But for now, I'm going to use these and wherever needed, I'm going to buy, you know, a local bottle that will save the C if needed. But for now, I'm using those. Then in case mosquitoes found me, I do have this cream. It's, I like this cream. It's very cheap and it has a very nice smell. It smells like something between chamomile and honey. The only thing with this cream, it's very sticky. <laughs> it actually feels like you put the honey on your body. It's not honey, it's a cream, but it feels that way. Then deodorant. I use those sticks because I can't bear the sprays. Um, I have very hairy armpits, so sometimes they're very smelly when you travel uh, a very, you know, a uh, very long time, hours in the sun, then this is much better than the sprays. And it's lighter to put in your luggage. Then, of course, to shave, because I'm a very hairy boy, uh, my hair grows by the minute, so I really need this. I have this electronic one, it's one from Philips, I use it already for years. Um, and this is to shorten your hair. It's not to shave yourself bald because it doesn't work. It's not very, um, how do you say? It's very messy when you shave. You really have to uh, make it more perfect with another uh, shaver. But this is always the first one that I use to shorten my hair before I uh, shave it completely. I have three spare uh, blades for this one because Again, I'm staying away from my home country for a long time. I think I can do with these blades about three to four months with every blade. So I have blades with me for a year. Then the other one, this one, is a shaver to shave, your, to shave you to the skin. So this was it for um, this episode about the stuff that I'm going to take with me. For now, I have no idea yet what I'm going to do next week. My original plan was to explain all the gear that I'm taking with you, but a little bit more in detail. But on the other hand, I'm not going to do that because it's like two episodes in a row where you have about the same um, subject. So I'm going to extend it that one for maybe the, the, the next few weeks in the future. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to surprise you with the next video. But if you wanna know beforehand what the subject will be, subscribe to my Patreon. When you are subscribed on my Patreon, you will see the videos and all information about the next coming videos before everyone else on YouTube. Okay, anyway, see you next week. Um, it's gonna be a surprise, I don't know yet. Uh, just, uh, you know, follow me on YouTube. Subscribe.